Alrighty guys, so this would be week four of the um, extreme uh, cichlid big fella pellets feeding update. Um, I have fed them already today, but um, and I missed two weeks. I know, sorry guys, but life's just been busy lately, so I haven't been able to do it. But um, they've been liking the food, and I am at the end of my um, container. So it just lasts the the four weeks, but um, I did buy some more, so. Um, I finished a little container. Let me show you guys first. Um, I had less than a serving left of this container. Uh, if you can tell, I'm at the, there's barely any left in here. Sorry about the lighting guys, but I did buy a new one already. So, um, I am liking the food and I am going to be continue using the food. I did actually buy some extreme cichlid peewee pellets as well. Um, and since those are smaller, I've been using them for my tea bars and my uh, red islatums as well as my bee nice. Um, there's, I had, I don't know if that's, if the food was the issue, but I did have some issue with the Red Islatums and the bee nice. so um, unfortunately I stopped feeding the bee nice and the Red Islatums with it, but um, let's see if that's the, the problem. So I've taken it out uh, of their diet for now, so no more uh, cichlid uh, peewee for, uh, no more extreme cichlid peewees for the Red Islatums and the bee nice for now and see if the issue is resolved but yeah that is the issue I noticed um, using that um, food with them so far so I'll update you guys within a week or so but yeah these guys have been good and they've been eating the cichlid food um, extreme cichlid food pellets well um, I did take out my bigger um, convict and I noticed that it's a lot more peaceful in here. Um, everyone is healing up and there's always um, injuries, but a lot less tension in the tank. Um, I think my male is a lot of, it tried to pair off with my red terror female for a little bit, but I think they're done with that. Um, I don't think she's too interested in, in that pairing off right now. That could be just be the separation from her male convict, but I don't know yet. Um, my red Islam has been more um, shy, so he's hiding between the cracks of the rocks here. But he's in like the usual top shape. Um, very. Uh, spotless good finish I did notice he's gotten a little darker more black to him but less color color um, so uh, I think that's kind of a good thing um, in the sense that there's not a lot of aggression and hopefully it'll allow everyone to um, heal well there he's out right here to heal and become um, in a much better shape than where most of them are, so. Uh, besides that, I did have a nightmare in this tank um, last week as well. Um, that was Memorial Week weekend. And I decided to clean my FX6 um, filter and uh, everything went downhill from there. <laughs> um, yeah, so I cleaned it, have everything set up and ready to go, plugged it in, didn't work, so I took it out. Um, the initial cleaning, I didn't clean my um, my motor, and so I decided to take that out 
and clean the motor. So I did clean the motor, got it ready to be put in, put it in and uh, oh, actually, sorry, an issue before that, once I was trying to put it in, or whilst I was cleaning the motor, I lost um, some of the screws, um, trying to speed everything, so. I lost two of the four screws um, for the back, and um, as a result, I couldn't run it. Took a few days to um, buy some screws, and when I finally found the screws, um, I screwed it in, uh, plug it in, and realized that my my filter is leaking. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, not good. So, um, I thought about buying a new kit, a uh, service kit, which would run about fifty three to sixty dollar, sixty six dollar, somewhere around that price range, depending on where to get it. Uh, I think PetSmart had the best price at fifty two ninety nine. Um, but I did a little research and found that um, it's a good idea to put um, the uh, food grade um, silicone, I believe, on it. So I ordered one of those um, and redid all of my um, O-rings for the filter. And um, right now the, t the filter is running again but I did have it out of commission for a week. It's been up again for about three days now, and so far no leaks. Um, the motor's running. A lot a lot more flows in the water now too, so I'm so happy that it's working again, but yeah, totally a nightmare, and it was sitting out of commission for a little over a week, just in regards to parts and getting the right parts. Um, if you ever run into that issue, let me save you some time. I bought my screws, the backup screws from Lowe's. And um, they're the M4.70 times 16. So that's the size that I got that worked. And good thing they're not super expensive. Let me get a shot of them. That's the one. And they're a perfect fit. I tried one from, I tried a set from Walmart and um, that one didn't work very well. It, did, it didn't screw very well. So that one, don't get it from Walmart. Get the set from Lowe's. I think these are the metric set. Um, the standard or SAE set that I got from Walmart is no good. So if you ever have that issue, well, hopefully I, you don't, but if you do, um, Lowe's is the place to go. And again, if you need um, the number, uh, send me a comment. I'll get you the right number again. But again, hopefully that isn't your issue or your standing. But yeah, well, enough ranting for today. Um, that is it for this week's update and um, cichlids. So, all right, besides the convict, everyone else is here. Um, and again, I think because of the aggressions coming down, hopefully they will all look better next week when uh, we do another update with the new food. All right, that's it. Checking out, guys.